the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Um, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, Keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Got a good day of boxing tomorrow. Um, Today we're going to cover our prospect of the month, Pierce O'Leary from Ireland. Uh, Good looking 140 pounder. Uh, But before we do that, please like and subscribe. Uh, Please hit the thumbs up. Button, smash the bell icon. Uh, Please subscribe to this channel as well as our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, Go to Texas Boxing Scene. uh, Subscribe. Um, All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So it's uh, something that's near and dear to our heart here. Uh, But let's get into today's show. It's the Prospect of the Month show. Uh, We do this every month, uh, beginning of the month. Go over the best prospect. We we'll put on the best performance with the highest upside each month. This month, it's uh, an MTK Global signee, uh, an MTK Global fighter from out of uh, Ireland, um, from out of Dublin, Ireland, known as Big Bang, Pierce O'Leary. Um, the 140 pound. First, I want to get into him. I'm going to put a link to uh, one of his previous fights um, in in the in the description. Check that out if you haven't seen him. Um, there's nothing not to like about this kid. He's short and stocky. He's come forward. He's aggressive. He can fight out of both the traditional and the uh, southpaw stance, which um, may – I like it as long as you don't do it too often. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm a fan of the Italian fighters. A lot of them do it. Uh, this kid can do it. He doesn't do it too often. Uh, there are some fighters who constantly go back and forth. Kendra Castaneda comes to mind. Uh, back and forth between the, the conventional and southpaw stance. Um, you know, Crawford does a little bit, you know, here and there. I like guys who do a little bit, um, give you a different look, switch up the look w- without overdoing it. Um, but he can do it. Um, he can box from the outside for a short, stocky, pressure fighter, come forward fighter. Um, he can come forward and he can box and he can box at range. Uh, he likes to fight out of a, out of, out of a crouch. Um, he said he's short to start with. Um, and then he, he gets down the crouch, and he becomes hard to hit. He can make you miss at range and up close. It's going to be interesting to see what this guy becomes um, at the next level because there's a lot here. Everyone at the 140-pound division likes Dalton Smith um, from Britain. Man, he's a good fighter. I think this is a better prospect. Uh, Pierce O'Leary is a special talent. I think he has world champion pedigree uh, and 140 pound division. And I know Omar Wars just took a loss, but I still think Omar Wars is an exceptional prospect. Um, you have, uh, I think Harlem Eubank is, is in that, uh, in that discussion. Um, and then you have Dalton Smith and you have Pierce O'Leary. So you have some talent at 140 um, and, and, and I think this guy is probably the head of the class. Um, he's just 21 years old. He looks really mature, really developed for a 21 year old. Like uh, th- th- there's already a lot of gears. You know, he's only got three knockouts in his seven fights, but he's got power. A- a- and we saw that in display in his last fight um, back on June 25th when he knocked out Jan Marsalek. Now, if that name sounds familiar, Marsalek uh, is the Czech fighter who went the distance and knocked down Calvin Davis, lost a decision by one point on the cards. Uh, he turned around and fought, you know, a month and a half later and fought Pierce O'Leary in another four-rounder and got absolutely destroyed in two rounds. Um, Pierce O'Leary is a talent. Um, so you, you saw what he was able to do with Calvin Davis, hold his own, floor him, nearly pull up the upset. And then go in with Pierce O'Leary and get absolutely steamrolled and demolished. Um, Pierce O'Leary is this kid's a talent. Like there's there's a lot here, and I, I like his skills. I, I, he does more things well than Dalton Smith. Now Dalton Smith has the power, um, but right now, if you said who's going to have a higher ceiling, 
who's going to have the better career? I would say Pierce O'Leary. Now, I don't think Pierce O'Leary, because of his height, uh, can, can really move up in weight classes. I, I think he's going to be a career 140 pounder. But I think that's okay. I, I think he can have a run. If you look at 140, um, Josh Taylor has unified all the belts. Outside of that, uh, well, Josh Taylor is probably going to move out of the division, right? He's going to go up to 147 where the money is. You got Mario Barrios, who just lost the tank, who's leaving the division. You got Regis Progre, who's going to leave the division for money, right? Barrios outgrew the division. Progre is going to leave the division for money. Tiffany Lopez hasn't come here yet. He's probably going to stay at 35. And Tank Davis, who won about at 40, is, we were told, not loud, to campaign at 35, at 40. It has to campaign at 35 or 30 by his uh, promoter, um, Leonard Allaby. CEO of Mayweather Promotions. So that's what he was told. So he's not going to be fighting at that weight class. Um, so it, it, it once um, Taylor vacates, all four belts are going to become available. And you're not going to have Progre there. You, you will have Ramirez. You're not going to have Progre. You're not going to have Tank. Uh, you're not going to have Mario. So that that's going to be wide open. Just like it was wide open when um, Danny Garcia vacated two belts, and then Crawford vacated all four belts as well. Uh, th- this is this is going to be wide open again, um, and I, I think sooner rather than later, well, P- if Pierce O'Leary can stay in this division, I think he's got a real future here. I, I really do. Uh, I, I think he can get a world championship sooner rather than later. You just go through the names, right, Zapata. Is apparently, possibly, maybe, allegedly, I don't know, fighting Terrence Crawford in a ridiculous fight. You got Barbosa, who's good. You know, you got Postal, who's a perennial contender. Rancis Bartholomew, Subaru Matias. You got some names. O'Hara Davies, right? You got some names there. But but none of them are, are really killers. Um, I, I think this kid, give another year or two, by the time he's 23, He's going to be competing with all of them, I, and I really believe that. Um, the skills are there. He can find the inside. He can find the outside. He can find the conventional stance. He can find out of the southpaw stance. Um, he's got power. He's hard to hit. There's just so much to like about him. Um, but I'm going to put a link into uh, a description into one of his previous fights, one that I was really impressed with. Um, it's against a, a, a Jacob Quinn, who was an undefeated prospect as well at that particular time. This is from last August. Uh, Jacob Quinn is, is from uh, Yorkshire, England. Uh, but check that out. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's a lot to like about him. Uh, but please like and subscribe. Leave your comments about him, too. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you as high on him as we are? Uh, but uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Um, and all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery to help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. It is July 2nd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.